Iraq is continuing to suffer uh, for the consequences of decisions made uh, by the U.S. government after uh, the invasion and the occupation of Iraq. There's no doubt that there were problems with the previous regime, but at the same time, the solution that was offered by the United States, I don't think, as we have seen, Iraq is still uh, suffering, still paying a heavy price uh, since the, uh, the war. The war now, it's been almost 20 years, and Iraq is going from one crisis to another. Uh, what, one of the main problems, and I think that uh, what Raed referred to, is the Lebanonization of Iraq. It made Iraq into a country like Lebanon, where uh, positions in government were based on religion. In Lebanon, you have the president who is a Maronite Christian, you have the prime minister who is a Sunni Muslim, you have uh, the speaker of the parliament who is a Shia. And in Iraq, you had the president who is a Kurd, you had the prime minister as a, uh, as a Shiite, and uh, the speaker of the parliament who is a uh, Sunni. And that has not really, uh, that system and the constitution to a certain extent, uh, did not resolve the problems. In some ways, there were some positive things. For example, there were some recognition of Kurdish rights, and perhaps here where Nefro uh, could tell us a little bit more about from his perspective on this issue. But I think the, the main problem is that Iraq has suffered as a result that has faced corruption. And this is actually is going to be one of the main challenges facing this current government, the new government. Uh, Iraq has also faced a major problem where it's been unable uh, to deliver on basic services for its population, uh, whether it's electricity, clean water, education, etc. And this has been also a major problem that Iraq has faced. Uh, the ability of Iraq to build a unified, a strong uh, state uh, I have faced a lot of challenges. So all of these things have been, uh, in part, a uh, consequence of the invasion, especially the destruction of the infrastructure.